decent start is at the flag. It's maybe just come up in front of the green. Maybe this is a good place to start. I said it had come up short and it has done so. One thing, let's uh, start with an immediate tick in the box, distance control. I've now gotten into a situation where I'm comfortable with the yardage with each of the irons. There's no flyers in terms of variations in distances. One thing that often was noted about game improvement irons or stronger lofted irons, all these irons, and a modern iron if you like, that's got that little bit of help and assistance, was the concern that there was flyers. Well, I can tell you, distance control is good, but maybe, like I said, a good place to start is this. The other thing that's often mentioned on a lot of my videos, one thing I struggle with is obtaining a decent spin number when I look at Trackman kind of data. When I get it out here on the course, trust me, yet again, only nine iron, but that's downwind into a firm links green at Conway Golf Club. That has pitched and stopped. And yet again, I see no issues with spin with these PXG irons and I've played now, like I said, three months, all different types of situations, all different types of courses. And the two things, distance control and spin, no issues whatsoever. Power in ball flight and again something there is that going to pitch pin high just to the right of flag but again bang on in the terms of distance but again um ball flight i think is something that's very much a, a personal thing uh, the elevate shaft is what i went with it certainly produces a high ball flight that's eight iron i've just played in from around 160 um so 155 160 again slightly downwind is my number with this kind of club um in terms of launch and the elevate shaft like i said in particular definitely is a higher launching shaft it's particularly helpful for me i've gone down to four iron and certainly in five and four iron that's where i see a lot of help and it's a much different ball flight than i was getting in previous sets and like i said that's coupled with don't forget slightly stronger lofted higher launching shaft and again lower cg in those longer irons i've certainly seen that out there on the fairways in terms of like i said that higher ball flight but still a penetrating ball flight and again, I'm afraid to say, it's another tick in the box. Now, one thing worth mentioning quite briefly, really, but is the actual overall condition of the clubs. Uh, these have took a fair bit of battering. They've been on a couple of aeroplanes and a fair few trips, and I've had a fair few rounds as well. And I've got to say, there's, uh, there's no markings. I don't know what the finish is on these. Don't forget, this is a cast club. So they're not going to take the dents and bumps that you might get into a forge club. But again, club looks superb. And again, uh, still really appealing to the eye for me. Um, I think often we can buy a new toy, a new set of clubs. And the kind of novelty wears off when you sort of you've got your shiny new clubs and you first put them in the bag it's all very exciting but i've got to admit still for me when they all sit in the bag all logos aligned all the numbers aligned that i get ready before i go out and play around the golf it still gives me that bit of a buzz i still think it's a great looking iron looks superb in the bag and overall condition like i said wearing pretty well but don't forget we're only three months in.
quite a decent shot to be fair and what I was trying to say was that again uh, the ability to be able to I don't know what differentiates where it becomes a game improvement iron into a player's iron anymore I'm not sure where the crossover is uh, but again a criticism obviously of uh, the type of iron is that perhaps the, the ability to shape a shot uh, to play a little bit of a, a lower ball flight there which is what I was trying to achieve we're back into the win we've turned around now here at Conway Golf Club and again I find it a very very playable club I like to mess around perhaps a little bit too much in terms of the shape of shot and the type of shot that I hit that's a bit of golf that I actually like and like I said perhaps at times sometimes uh, over complicate things but like I said a very very playable club and again um, at this point again maybe again it's good point to reference is the sort of the forgiveness element of the club and I think in the shorter irons I'm an half decent ball striker in terms of irons it's a stronger part of my game I would say so I'm not looking for any great assistance for off-center hits don't get me wrong I ain't great but in the shorter irons I'm not looking for it so much but again it goes back into five and four iron which is where I'm seeing a massive massive difference uh, really confident taking on a par four in terms of the four iron any long shots in onto par fives again happy to take it and there's definitely notable forgiveness across that club face because that's not where I'm likely to be getting it consistently out the middle of the club and this ball always seems to again mention that CG earlier decent ball flight there's without doubt packed full of forgiveness and a bit of energy out of that face and more often than not like I said five iron and four iron have become a really really comfortable iron player with those in the bag as well we're getting a little bit low on light here at Conway Golf Club. It's a gorgeous evening. One of the things that I enjoy most at the moment is literally taking out the set of irons out onto the golf course, perfect evening like this, and working my way around with them. Because the one thing, um, and probably, well, not quite the final thing, because I've got a negative that is coming up, and I'm sure you're all waiting for that. The one thing, the greatest um, pleasure, enjoyment that I've gotten since I've got the clubs is... They put a smile on my face. And I'm going to talk about price again very, very briefly, shortly. But the one big thing, like I said, these clubs do, I enjoy hitting them. I enjoy hitting them because they've got, and again, I really raved about this when I did the review. And it's the one thing, the biggest thing that I still find hard to understand is what and how uh, PXG achieve what they did in terms of sound and feel from these clubs. Anybody who asks me that I've played golf with over the last few months, what do I think of my clubs? The first thing I will reference is the sound and feel because I think it's astonishing. And I think it's astonishing because like I said, they've done it from a cast club is the first thing. But to me, they have fantastic feedback, fantastic sound, fantastic feel. And like I said, uh, when and if I'd get to pure one every now and again, it's a fantastic feeling. I love playing these irons. It's as simple as that. Um, in terms of criticisms and negatives, there is one. And I'm afraid only one. And that's the fact that they draw a little bit of attention in the bag. And a lot of people often comment about PXG owners want that attention. And, and again, I, I know it's, I think, very unduly put to people. But the bottom line is, I can trust you, I don't want that attention. But what they do often is draw a little bit of attention on the first tee. Someone will grab, oh, you're playing PXG? Oh, and I may be expecting and put that little bit of extra pressure on your round. Uh, you sort of get that feeling that people are waiting to uh, see it a bit of a bad shot with them. So it puts a little bit of extra pressure on, I'm afraid. But that's human mentality. But that's the only negative, I would say. Because like I said, that ain't me at all. I prefer to shy away from all that kind of thing and uh, hide what I've got in the bag, to be quite honest with you. Um, but other than that, and that is the only negative, and I'll say in an assessment and an overall opinion, I said I'd give you my viewpoint of three months in with PXG irons. I, I love them. No issues with them whatsoever. I'm afraid I've got no criticisms. I can't really pick fault in them. They do what they, I said, fantastic sound and feel, distance control. I ain't getting flyers. I know my yardage with them. They're stopping on greens. Uh, they're doing everything I could ask for from a set of irons. So like I said, big big smile on my face when I'm playing these anyway it's an update and the update came because of a, a Gary Smith commented on a recent video he asked for this he suggested this video and I thought it was a great idea to be honest with you so thanks Gary for the uh, the suggestion and also if you have some suggestions for videos or more about content topics for debate then by all means stick them down below and uh, that's what I want to get talking about on this channel 
as ever thanks for watching the sun is starting to go down i hope you can still see me there um, as ever i'm going to finish off here i'm going to go for a pint and uh, i'll see you all soon